Yeah, my name is uh, Daniel from Power Home Performance. Uh, you know, we've been doing some marketing and I, I just really want to get some help uh, with some backlinking and I was looking at your guys' website and it looks like you guys do some links or some backlinks and uh, some SEO stuff like that for businesses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for. I'd love that. Oh, the director of SEO. Dang. Okay. Yeah, we spend a few thousand dollars a month. Yep. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, whiteboarding, I've done that. Whiteboard sessions, I've done those before. Those are awesome. Great. Yeah, I can do that today. Right on, right on. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. director of SEO. Oh, they, they actually weren't able to make it, but uh, I'm here and you know, ask me any questions you want. I'm, I'm, I'm here to help you. Well, uh, you know, what, what area of your business are you really, uh, are you really struggling with? Uh, organic SEO, I really want to ramp up that area, just try to build that part of my business and help it grow. I mean, that's what I called you yeah. out. To. I called you out here today All for right. that. Cool. I just really want to build that. So yeah, yeah, well, uh, we're an agency and you know, we can do everything. We have it all in-house. We don't use any outsourcers. You know, those people that use outsourcers, you know, they do the stuff overseas. You don't want to use any of those guys. A lot of the agencies in town, they suck. They're no good. And, you know, you want to focus on somebody that's got everybody in-house. And, you know, since we got everybody in-house, we can, we can offer the best prices and cut costs for you. Well, that's cool. I like cutting costs. I'm all about that. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. So what do you do on the SEO side? Yeah, so uh, what kind of social media stuff are you doing right now? Uh, we do a lot of SEO for Facebook and Instagram. Okay. What, what do you spend? How much do you spend on, on Facebook? Uh, about a thousand bucks a month, give or take. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, some of my other clients, they spend like 1500 bucks a day, and, you know, sometimes a thousand dollars a day. So a thousand's not bad. I'm just a small operation. What else, what else are you spending money on for your, your marketing and advertising? Uh, we do some Google, Google Guarantee. Oh, Google, okay. How much do you spend on Google? Uh, about another thousand, thousand, fifteen hundred bucks. Okay, so some search engine marketing. Yeah, we can yeah. come up with some awesome stuff for you for search engine marketing. Uh, we do, you know, geofencing. We could do some programmatic display. Are you guys doing any retargeting stuff? Uh, yeah, a little bit through Facebook and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, you definitely, you you have to do retargeting for your website. That's that's definitely something that that you want to want to focus on for sure. Nice. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Uh, I, I hear what you're saying about the SEO stuff and, and the backlinking, all that stuff. That, that's cool, but uh, you know, SEO is man. That's that's pretty much dead these days. Is it really SEO is dead? Seriously. Wow. Okay, that's new to me. I didn't know that. Yeah, you don't want to mess with SEO. Let's just let's just focus on some some search engine marketing and get some retargeting going, and we'll even run some some geofencing. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that geofencing wasn't very good, but. I give it a try. I mean, I'm open to it. Yeah, I know you have kind of your system dialed in and you're just trying to add this piece, but man, trust me, let me, I'm going to get together with my team and we're going to do a whiteboarding session and we're going to get together with our director of SEO and we're going to put together a really good plan for you. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it sucks that they couldn't show up. I mean, that would have been cool if they were, if they could be here. Yeah, yeah, I know they couldn't make it today, but I really wanted to have them here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just want to get you some numbers, get you some details, you know. We can focus on uh, on really growing this thing for you because you know we got a lot of big clients and we want to help bring you on and, and be one of our big clients. You know we we deal with some big companies. If you want to be on their level, man, you know you got to try some of these things that we're doing because it's it's really effective. It's really really effective. Yeah, I mean I think we're doing well and we've been making some progress. I, I just want to keep keep. Yeah, up. retargeting works great. I mean you can make tens of thousands of dollars and bring tons of traffic to your website from retargeting. It's it's huge. You got to do retargeting. I'm, I'm open to the retargeting. Yeah, but okay. I, I really want to focus on our SEO presence. I think that there's still some great opportunities there. Yeah, so uh, what do you think? What's what's your budget? How much do you want to spend on marketing? Uh, I could put probably like a thousand, another thousand okay. bucks a month. Yeah, we may be able to do something for that. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but uh, uh -huh. I, I think you should spend, you know, at least maybe five to ten thousand dollars a month if you want to get, you know, if you want to get the results that you're looking for. Yeah, that's just that's just out of my budget. I don't think I could spend that much. Mm -hmm. It's just more than what we want to do right now. 
Yeah, no, we'll make you thousands of dollars. We can, I can guarantee it. We'll make you thousands of dollars. You, you just sign up with us. You know, we do about a 12 month contract, make you thousands of dollars and get you going, get your business improved, get some revenue coming in, get some sales. It's gonna be good, man. You ready to roll? You ready to do this thing? I mean, I think we're, we're kind of not on the same page, but I just wanted to get this piece figured out first and then maybe move on to some of those other things you're talking about. Okay. I really wanted to hammer. When are you that looking up. to make a decision? When are you gonna when are you gonna move forward? Like when when are you what's holding you back? Uh, just getting the right information, some pricing on this mm. this program that I wanted to do. What I was talking about, of getting the backlinking yeah. and getting a link on your guys' site, and you know just implementing and using some of your guys' authority to help my site rank. Yeah, well, your competitors are spending that much, and you know if you're not willing to pay to play, I mean that's the name of the game now. You got to be willing to pay to play. If you're not willing to pay to play, then you probably should just get out the game completely. Yeah, it's just more than I want to spend. Yeah, for a month. I mean, I, I want to help you, but I can only do so much. And um, I, I'm, I'm recommending some really good stuff here that I think could really help you. We've been doing this for a really long time. We're experts. Everybody on our team is experts. We all worked at Google. We all worked at you know huge companies. We we know what we're doing. You're not going to find anybody that's as good as us. We're really, really talented at what we do. Yeah. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. Let me know what you think, and uh, over the next few days, and then uh, I can give you a call what, later today. Is that cool? Uh, I'm gonna be tied up for the rest oh, of the today, okay. probably then the rest of this week, maybe maybe next week. All right. How about uh, how about on Friday? Can I give you a call on Friday? No, I'll be tied up this week. Probably like next week. Okay. Maybe next week. Okay. Uh, how about Monday? I'll give you a call on Monday morning. Yeah, maybe like Monday afternoon or sometime middle okay. of the day. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a call on Monday morning. If, if, uh, if that doesn't work for you, just I'll leave a message and just just call me back as soon as you can. Okay, right? I'll do that. Yeah, because we got a lot of stuff going on. We're super busy, yeah. but you know, I'd love to help you out if I can if I can make it fit into my schedule and, and work for you. I'd love to yeah. do that. No, we're super busy too, and we're doing cool. well. We just want to. Cool. Right on, man. Right on. We want to fine tune things. <laughs> Wow, was that bad or was that bad? That made me uncomfortable to watch. There are good things and good ways to go about building relationships and doing sales in our industry and there are bad ways to go about doing sales in our industry and that was an example of a really bad way to deal with a customer and to help them solve their problems. That guy was not interested in solving your problems. He simply wanted to get what he wanted out of the deal and he came in with an agenda and his agenda was not to serve you. That was one of the things that we pride ourselves on as a company and as a business, is we wanna serve our clients and help them with their needs and meet them where they're at. He was trying to get you to meet him where he was at. It was all about what his image was and what his company was and what his costs were. All these things that he was pitching to you to try to convince you that you needed him more than he needed you. And that's not how relationships work. Relationships should be a give and take and they should be fair on both sides. And so that's what we believe in. We wanna make sure that the relationships are fair, that both parties benefit. That's what it's about, right? And so he did a lot of things that I want you to understand so that in the future, you can spot these things, you can look out for them, and you can know that they're not gonna happen. And when they do happen, that you need to run as far away from those kinds of people as possible because you're gonna throw a lot of money and it's gonna end up burning you and you're gonna think that marketing doesn't work. Online marketing, digital marketing, paid ads, you're gonna think it doesn't work and that hurts our industry. Conversations like that and sales pitches like that hurt our industry and my mission is to make our industry better. There are people out there that are just trying to get paid. There are people that are out there that are trying to make an improvement on their own life, but also on the lives of their customers and in their industry as a whole. And so we put our customers first and we put our, and we put our industry uh, at the forefront. And so it's really important that you just understand that some of the things he did in there, like he misled you and totally kind of hooked you by saying that he could help you with that one, with doing the SEO stuff. But in reality, he had no interest in helping you with that. In fact, he told you that SEO was dead and that's just not true. SEO is not dead, but it was very misleading and it was wrong information. So that's another thing that he did. He gave you wrong information, stuff that isn't accurate and stuff that probably made you second guess the direction that you wanted to go with your business. And it sounds like you have a pretty good feel around your business already and you didn't really need him to try to tell you that you needed to spend more money. You'll spend more money when you need to bring on more business because I'm guessing you're pretty busy right now. You got a lot of success already going and you were just trying to add some additional investments onto your online marketing to kind of help improve things, right? Okay, so yeah, if you're trying to do that, we work with clients and we meet them where they're at. We don't make, we're not gonna mislead you. I'm sure you felt misled, right? Yeah, that sucks, that's a terrible feeling. 
So we don't want you to feel misled. We want to make sure that you're on the right path, that you have somebody that you can trust, that is putting your best interests at heart. It's super important to put the customer first, and that's what we pride ourselves on doing. We put you first, we stay in contact, and we're not pushing our agenda on you. We just want to meet you where you're at. We want to be a support system. We want to be a resource, and we want to see your business grow. I mean, that's the biggest thing. We want to see you get results and see your business grow, but you got to be happy, and you got to deal with somebody that you like know and trust so that's what we aim to do and we just really want to help you out and be here for you so any questions that you have uh, just reach out to me anytime i'd be happy to answer them thanks hey guys i hope you guys learned something from this video today there are a lot of salespeople out there that have even better personalities they're very charismatic they're very friendly they seem like they're very helpful in the front end and they're very they've gotten very good at hiding their agenda and so even though everybody isn't as blatant as the bad sales guy and the bad digital marketing guy, digital marketing expert, not everybody's gonna be that bad. You gotta know some of these things to look out for. You gotta make sure that they're putting your interest at heart first, that they actually wanna solve your problem, they're not just trying to solve their own problem, that they're offering fair prices, that they're moving alongside with you in a partnership. If you don't feel like it's a partnership and you feel like you're being high pressure, like you're, it's a high pressure sales environment, this is probably not a good fit for you. Great salespeople don't have to pressure anybody into doing something. They build the value, they understand, they're confident in their services, and you either take it or you don't. We don't have to pressure anybody into doing anything. We lead them to the water, and if they don't want to drink, they don't have to. So that's something you need to understand. And that's why I wanted to do this video for you guys today, just to give you guys some perspective, have a little bit of fun, and just put this thing into reality for you, because I'm trying to help the industry as a whole in the digital marketing space, and the online marketing space, and there are a lot of, there's a lot of misinformation, like SEO is dead, that I just want you guys to throw in the trash, because SEO isn't dead, it's more important than ever. The space is less, there's less space available on Google than there was before, but it doesn't mean it's not important. So that's what I got for you guys today. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and share this with a friend if you thought this was funny, if you thought this was entertaining, or maybe you've been in one of these experiences yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.